It was a chilly day today, but we stayed under mostly cloudy skies early. And then as we got into the midday, clouds started to clear out and now plenty of sunshine just before it goes down. But with the clouds, we stayed cool only in the 50s. That is below the average high of 62 and we still have very dry air. Now calm winds, clear skies, low humidity means we will get a little bit colder overnight tonight. Today's high was only 58 degrees. Our morning low is 49, so we did drop into the 40s, but didn't see too many 30s overnight. In fact, the only spot in the area was 38 degrees Bogalusa, 37 up in Macomb, but everyone else stayed in the 40s. Now tomorrow morning, we will likely wake up with some 30s on the North Shore. No freezing temperatures, but cold enough to see maybe some patchy light frost North Shore in the 50s outside on both sides of the lake. So a chill to the air and very light winds. And again, the winds are going to remain fairly calm through the night and into early tomorrow. And then a milder day. I don't want to call it warmer. High temperatures will be getting back into the 60s every day this week. High temperatures have stayed in the 50s tomorrow, Friday in the 60s. But the difference is the humidity will stay low. So unlike past warming trends, this one will not be accompanied by the Gulf moisture. So very pleasant rain, though, warmer and a little more humid by Saturday. That's an advance of another cold front. And Sunday is going to be a cold day. Here's what's going on right now. A little upper disturbance that brought in our cloud cover today is now moving to the east and it is a fairly weak system. Another upper upper trough is deepening south. What this does is kind of brings in the colder air, but the air mass that is moving in within this northwesterly flow is not all that cold. It's cool. In fact, as you look across the United States, the cold air has retreated back up into northern Canada. That's where it's going to stay for now, but that will start to change as we get deeper into the weekend start of the weekend. That colder Canadian air begins to make its way south and a big upper low is going to bring down a shot of some very chilly temperatures across much of the nation, including the deep south. What that system is also going to help to do is bring in a chance for some rain. This is Saturday morning. This is the GFS model bringing in a few showers. Here comes the front best chance of rain through the midday and afternoon front moves on through cold air moving in behind it. But notice on the wraparound side, there will still be some lingering moisture and the chance of some snow in the deep south. Is it going to make it here? Probably not. Here's the snow forecast from two of the models. This is the GFS. We're looking at quite a bit up across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee as far south maybe south of Jackson, possibly into southwestern Mississippi. Possibly this is the Euro doesn't go quite as far south, at least based on the earlier runs, stops it at about Jackson. So the model consensus right now is more central Mississippi with maybe a couple of inches, maybe a couple of inches. It takes a lot for us to get snow this far south. As far as southeast Louisiana goes, it doesn't look likely so. I'm sorry. Clear skies tonight. Chilly. A little bit of light frost on the North Shore. South of the lake will stay in the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon. More sunshine, but the humidity stays down. So a beautiful day around 65. Then the more mid to upper 60s by Friday. Again, still low humidity. So very pleasant. A little warmer, look more humid. That 72 degrees, kind of a brief warm up before the colder air starts moving in. Likely some clouds and windy early Sunday, then clearing out. But high temperatures will stay in the 40s. Look at our morning lows. Not a hard freeze, but North Shore temperatures in the 20s by Monday and a high of only 56.